Welcome back to Detail Garage. Today we're working on this beautiful Tesla Model S here in the shop. Now we were looking at it to inspect it before we decided how to wash the car and we can see the car was covered in all these little yellow spots. So we get a lot of questions about what are these yellow spots? How do I take care of them? Are they going to stain the paint? Are they going to damage the paint? So we get a lot of questions about what it is and we've actually had some uh, of these residues removed from the car and analyzed in a lab. And when you look at it under a microscope, uh, the technicians were able to see that it's full of pollen and digested nectar. So what does that mean? It's bee poop. So bees eat nectar and pollen from the flowers. They move them from one to another, go back to their hive. But when they're out and about, they have to poop. They're just like bees or um, birds and they'll poop all over your car. And that's where you get these little yellow spots from. So the good thing about the yellow spots is it's not too caustic. It's not as bad as bird poop, which will actually etch your paint because it's very acidic. Bee poop is fairly neutral, but it just gets annoying and it's ugly. And uh, it's actually fairly abrasive if you don't remove it correctly. So we're going to show you how to take it off without damaging your paint in any way. And I'm just going to use some EcoSmart because we're indoors. I don't want to worry about a hose or bucket. So I'm just going to clean a car using EcoSmart and a couple microfiber towels. So get started. Just go ahead, spray down your surface. I'm just going to work on the hood for right now and I'll get a nice coat of EcoSmart over the paintwork. Now just like anything else, when you're cleaning with a waterless method, I'm going to get my microfiber towel and wipe in one direction. That way I pick up any dirt with the towel as I go and I don't grind it into the surface and cause any scratches. Flip the towel once it gets dirty and then proceed to wipe in one direction. There we go. Now this whole side of the towel is dirty. I'll flip it over, expose a clean one, and keep wiping. So now that I've cleaned this half of the hood, you can see I still have some of these yellow spots stuck on the surface. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna flip to a completely clean side of my towel. So there's no dirt at all on this side of the towel. Now I'm either gonna have to spray a little more EcoSmart right on the surface, but I don't want to do that just because if I try to focus on that spot, I'm going to be wasting product that's going to be running away. Instead, I'm going to spray some EcoSmart right in the towel. And I'm just going to focus with a little bit of the towel and gently rub. You see all the spots are immediately breaking off, lifting from the surface. I'll wipe them up with another part of the towel. And that spot is now clean. So I've removed all the little bits of pollen and bee poop from the surface. I'll go ahead and go to this next spot, do the same trick. Be very gentle when I pick this stuff up. There you go. Now, you might be able to see I'm left with a little bit of spot, a little bit of residue. I'll just take some more Eco Smart and buff it totally dry. There we go. Now, it's also very important you keep your car waxed, you keep your car sealed at all times. So, any little bits like bee poop or airplane fuel or whatever else lands on your car makes little yellow spots. You take it off so it doesn't etch into the paint and cause any permanent damage. So I have a lot of the car to do. Actually, the whole car is covered in this type of contamination. It's on the paint. It's on the clear plastic headlights. It's on the uh, shiny black nose or grill, whatever you want to call it on this car. It's all over the windshield and even on the chrome on the side view mirrors. So I have a lot of contamination to remove. I'll start by doing a 50-50 so you can see uh, the before and after uh, cleaning right here at home. Uh, but besides that, uh, or after that, we're going to go ahead and clean the rest of the car. So if you have any other questions about removing bee poop or any other contamination on your car, you can check out all the videos on our YouTube channel. We have over 900 videos showing you how to do just about anything. So make sure you like this video if you like this tip. Hit the subscribe button to stay in tune with all of the top tips as they come out. And if you want to learn more about the products, you can check them out on our website. The links are right below in the description. You got a nice car? Let's keep it clean with Chemical Guys.